Hi, and welcome back to New Rockstars. I'm Jessica Clemens, and on Tuesday, Netflix released the official teaser trailer for The Witcher Season 3, which will be split into two parts. Five episodes releasing on June 29th, and the final three episodes releasing on July 27th. This will be Henry Cavill's final run as Geralt, as Liam Hensworth will be taking over the role for Season 4. And like this teaser, everything changes. Sad to watch Cavill leave, but excited to see what Hemsworth can do. But for now, let's stick to what's happening in Season 3, what we should be prepared for, and break this trailer down scene by scene, shall we? Before we get into this, I want to summarize where we left off off in season two, so be warned, I'll be spoiling season two like right now. Frangilla the Nilf Guardian Sorceress, Francesca the leader of the elves after Philavandrel failed, and Yennefer have found themselves at the hands of the Deathless Mother, who we later find out is one of the members of the Wild Hunt, a demon who feeds off pain later referred to as Volavmir, who the Witcher's in prison a long time ago and all she wants is Ciri. On the other side of the season, we find out Ciri's the key to all of these monoliths that are allowing creatures from the other worlds to enter. She also has Elder Blood, which can also be used to make more Witchers, and she may bring upon the end of days with the Wild Hunt. Yennefer teaches Siri to open a portal and they escape to a nearby monolith, but Yennefer changes her mind a little too late and Valthamir has already escaped entering Siri's body. They have a pretty unfair fight at Kaer Morhen, and Yennefer offers herself as a host, letting her wrist freeing Siri from Valthamir, but then Siri transports the three of them to an unknown world and Valthamir leaves Yennefer's body and we get a glimpse of the Wild Hunt who plans to take Siri. but Siri transports them back to Kaer Morhen, and now Geralt plans to protect his new family. Basically, everyone on the continent is after Siri now. Vizimir is after Siri, the Brotherhood, and the Northern Monarch put a hit out on Siri. After Francesca killed a bunch of human babies, thinking they killed her baby, she finds out Siri has elder blood that can rebuild the elf society. The Emperor Amir, who actually killed Francesca's babies after Siri and is revealed to be Siri's father, Dunu, never died. A lot is literally going on right now. Now, for the first time, I understand real fear. By the looks of it, he's in a cave, but a cave that opens to the coast, possibly a beach. This could be Thenid Island. We see Geralt pulling out his steel sword, and as a reminder, like in the games, he does have two swords. The other is usually on his horse. The steel sword has Renfri's brooch on the hilt and is meant to kill a man and monster. His silver sword is softer and better for fighting different kinds of monsters, magical or supernatural ones. The steel sword translates in elder speech to, my gleam penetrates the darkness, my brightness disperses the gloom. Also, by the looks of this scene, he is probably up against man, but if the scene is directly connected to the beginning, of the trailer when he takes the elixir, then he could be going up against one very powerful man or a couple of people, but by this blurry scene, it looks like it's just one person. The voiceover is Geralt saying, now for the first time I understand real fear, which I assume is directly related to protecting Ciri. Netflix released a description for season three saying, as monarchs, mages, and beasts of the continent compete to capture her, Geralt takes Ciri into hiding, determined to protect his newly reunited family against those who threaten to destroy it. They must fight back, put everything on the line, or risk losing each other forever. It's like the saying in the last of us goes. I was never afraid before you showed up. Now that Geralt has a family worth protecting and potentially losing, he sees the danger he's really in. We see our first look at Ciri in the trailer. This could be a dream sequence, seeing how slow and choppy the shot is. Nonetheless, she's stressed, in fear, riding horseback to get away from the Wild Hunt, emerging from the clouds of smoke in the forest. The last time we saw the Wild Hunt was in the last episode of season two. And like I said earlier, Volthmir is a member of the Wild Hunt, but in Blood Origins, Captain Iridan, played by Jacob Collins Levy, is banished to the barren, unknown red world and finds the bone-shaped helmet in the sand, which is the helmet to the leader of the Wild Hunt. We're getting small, glimpses at their backstory throughout the series already and it's perfect. Now, as a reminder, some people in The Witcher think the Wild Hunt is a myth, but after the second season, we clearly see they're super real and Volthmir did so much damage as just one member, so the full package seven will be horrendous if they escape their world. In the show and in the fourth book, the Wild Hunt wants Ciri to join them in this season. We'll probably get more information about Ciri's history in regards to her family's bloodline because she's clearly precious cargo to everyone involved. We are all so excited for The Witcher to come back and if you want more Slavic fantasy goodness in the form of a new upcoming single player game, then listen up. Gord is a dark fantasy strategy game set in a hostile land inspired by Slavic mythology. Besieged by vile creatures, you must build to survive, but to prevail, you must conquer the darkness beyond the gates. Take command of the tribe of the dawn and embrace the ethical complexity of leadership as you shepherd the community. Their safety and sanity are your responsibility. Protect them from hunger, disease, and trauma. Nurture their faith and train them for battle. In return, they will pledge their loyalty and lay down their lives. In a land that lusts for blood, every family will learn sacrifice. It sounds awesome. I'm such a lore junkie and Gord does double duty for my lore fix and my exploration fix. The Chronicle explains the history of the Gord universe that blends real world Slavic mythology and dark fantasy. Pages torn from the Chronicle are scattered throughout the game and by collecting those pages you get insight into the origins of gods, ancient factions, and mystical whisperers. Give it to me! Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it! Gord is coming summer 2023 to Steam, Xbox Series, XS, and PlayStation 5. Stay up to date and don't miss a beat by signing up through the link in the description box below. We get our first look at Yennefer 
Yennefer in the trailer. Then it cuts to Eratuza, the school of sorceress, where Yennefer was taken to in season one and where we know this woman from. Get up. Then we jump to a door opening, flames almost engulfing the unfazed Rians. Last we saw Rians in season two, he got bested by Garal and escaped, but reported back to Lydia he had messed up and gave her the Witcher making potion. When she performed the blood tracing ritual, the Witcher potion messed her face up, like bad. They continue their plan to capture Ciri. A new actor is playing Rians. Chris Fulton wasn't available to film season three, so it's Sam Wolf now. In Rians' arms is a beautiful cat. Oh, dare I say the most beautiful cat in the world. Now we briefly see this cat Esmeralda in season two, episode six. It belongs to Code Ringer and Ben. And if you've read Times of Contempt, you're aware of what happens, but I don't want to spoil anything. But keep in mind, Istrid went to visit them to find some very sensitive information. So they'll be clearly making a big return this season. Then we cut to Philippa with Yaskir. We saw Philippa in the finale of season two. She works with Dijkstra and can transform from an owl. Dijkstra commanded that she bring the bar, demanding it's time he pay back his benefactor. In the books, this relationship between him and Yaskir was explored, but not really in the series. So this is opening some new doors for us. In the quickest cut, we see Siri lift a sword, but to whom? Which again, I don't want to spoil who she's fighting, but there's been released photos of the fight scene online that's not hard to find if you want to be spoiled. You can search for it on your own. I'm not giving it away because I don't like giving spoilers away. The next cut is Garal and Rianne's going at it. This looks like the same place from the beginning of the trailer. Behind Garal, it looks like they're in the little cavern. There are high chances that Garal took the elixir to fight Rianne's, and he's using the silver sword. What has Rianne's gotten into? Will he finally be one of many to capture Ciri? Is his employer someone incredibly deadly? We see Rianne's a lot in this trailer, so our boy is making a complete comeback. We're back with Yennefer. She's in a different attire altogether. In the background, we see Phil Evandrel and Francesca as Yennefer is doing some magic. Siri is directly behind her watching the fight. The soldiers are literally going at it. Clearly, people are here to take Siri. They're currently at the ruins of Sherwood. The first episode of season three will take place here because it's the title of the first script. So this could pick up after the finale of season two. Showrunner Lauren has Rick spoken in an interview with Entertainment Weekly discussing how this episode will be the newfound family start at mending their relationship after Volothmir destroyed it, but also so this location is a great setting to learn more on the elven history in which blood origin will come into play. We'll be exploring Yennefer and Geralt's different versions of it all when telling Ciri. Hesrick said, we're gonna start to understand everybody has a different version of historical events, which can get messy. Sherwood is a very important location in the book. It's an ancient elven place that was destroyed 200 years before the books and the show. It was introduced in Blood of Elves and it's where Geralt and Ciri have a conversation about Geralt wanting to be neutral and the importance of that. He says, to be neutral does not mean to be indifferent or insensitive. You don't have to kill your feelings. It's enough to kill hate within yourself. After Volothmir took her over and killed a bunch of witchers in Ciri's body, I can see Ciri probably feeling like a nuisance and the problem. So maybe her point of view will start teetering on self-hatred and Geralt, like the father figure he now is, will fix that. Then we jump to the scene of Ciri lost in what seems to be a maze, calling out to Geralt. Yennefer and Geralt are also in the same maze and everyone's dressed so well. It's like they've come to a party. Yennefer, I think, is wearing the same outfit she wore in season one when she first met Geralt at the orgy that she started. People on the internet think this is the Bellatin Festival, which is the spring love and fertility festival that in Sword of Destiny, Geralt meets Yennefer. In. There's mention in different interviews of Yaskir possibly finding a love interest and Siri's sexuality being explored. So there could be more people at the festival celebrating that we just haven't seen yet. Once Geralt pulls out his steel sword, you know they're in that maze with someone else, possibly Rianne. He's everywhere. That's when we see what could be Siri facing a large blurred out creature. Some think it could be a Shelmar from the Witcher games. There are some things we didn't get into because it wasn't in this trailer that we know are being explored in season three, like Yaskir possibly finding a love interest, Siri's sexuality being explored. Additionally, after Blood Origin, we also know Avalon Avalok escaped with Sindril's book and is the person revealed to be standing in the doorway in season one. So in hopes that we can expect some time travel, we haven't really got a glimpse of this callback in the trailer yet. The fact that Ciri's dad is the white flame and not dead at sea, this is just a teaser trailer. So I'm sure we'll see more in later trailers or maybe even release press. A lot happened at the end of season two in Blood Origin. So it's hard to throw 10 different storylines into this trailer, but I'm sure they'll reveal most of the answers closer to June's release. That's it for my breakdown of the newest trailer for the season three of The Witcher. Personally, I'm more excited to see The Wild Hunt. What are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments. Follow me at Instagram and Twitter at Lulu underscore Clemens. Follow New Rockstar. Subscribe to New Rockstars for breakdowns of everything you love. Thanks for watching. Peace.